I've always been a very curious soul right from childhood. I always saw myself as someone who wanted to be or who was going to be a doctor in life. The symptoms were quite obvious. I uh, began to bump into things and so on and so forth. So we went and saw an eye specialist. And when I got diagnosed with this eye condition, uh, I had a little door shut. So I actually had to completely recalibrate, recreate who I really was in my own head. I met him a couple of days after I reached New Zealand. Kenny uh, was surrounded by lots of mates. Sometimes it felt like he was trying to be someone, maybe he was not, almost as if he was trying to make up for something. That was the time when I was in denial. And at any cost, I wanted people to feel that I did not have an eye condition at all. From the part of the world where I came from, if you had a disability, you were considered lesser of a person, someone that needed to be looked after. I was masking my eye condition so I could feel that I belonged to my university crowd uh, and that I wasn't an outcast. I made the decision that I do what, would, what, is, what is necessary uh, to change the perception about uh, someone with a different cognitive need being effective uh, in a high performance environment. Then I moved to Australia. I applied for a lot of uh, software development jobs and Vision Australia was newly founded at the time. They had a very inclusive culture, making everyone feel that they could do their best work. There wasn't any hiding of my eye condition. I actually felt quite empowered. I was given a lot of opportunities to learn and grow. 